Fellas, I'm going to tell y'all some G-ass shit. It don't matter how much you want to cap flaws and fake. A lot of these hoes, bro, and I know this because I'm a female. I know how females talk. I know what a bitch be sitting around saying with their homegirls, young or old. A well, I appreciate the fact that, you know, she's willing to help out fellas. But, you know, no offense. But shout out to you, sister. But at the end of the day, we kind of know that these females is broke. Because <laughs> they always capping and waxing us for money. A lot of these females, man, they mindset is to get with y'all and make you take care of them. Get all that they can get out of you. And the minute they ain't getting what society or what they homegirls or what they mammy told them they should be getting out of you, they'll fuck over you, use you, take you for all you got, or at least try to, or use a baby as a pawn to control the way the fuck you move because they couldn't control you. Let me tell you something, man. Even though she's ratchet, she's hood, she's ghetto and shit, there's something about the hood that a lot of people are not really aware about. You got your ignorant hood people. Or oh, I'ma talk in my street hood niggas, hood bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like she would say. And then you got your intelligent hood people. Now, they are from the streets, but they're very intelligent. The ones that kind of turn up, I, I'm sort of like in between, but I'm a little bit more progressing in, into more of the intelligent form but you get what i'm saying see these are the type of black women that in the hood that understands men's issues they've been raised up around boys so these are the type of women that can understand what a lot of these women are doing to men you know what i'm saying because she sees it around with her home girl so she sees that but she's probably used to being around dudes We've had those type of hood chicks that got along with dudes, right? They were just, he, she was just down with the homies. Cool. But hey, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, but shout out to her. Y'all got to understand when you run across females with a different mindset, where they genuinely care about your well-being, where they give a fuck about submission and allowing their man to lead, mm. where they give a fuck about actually, you know, doing and buying for you and spoiling you the same way they want to be spoiled. That's a real bitch, boy. You better keep on your team. Who you faking trying to act like Ooh. all these hoes got this type of mindset? Preach. A lot of hoes don't got that mindset. Let me break it down so some of y'all can understand. A lot of y'all females have been writing me. The things that y'all have been asking me about y'all relationships and in these circles with these niggas and being relevant in certain people's lives. Ho, you're not at a place in your life where your mental or your life has enough shit together for you to be trying to matter to a person as much as you do. Let me break it down so that you can understand. Fuck being cute. Fuck you, you know what's the most sexiest thing about a woman? Yeah, physical. Don't get me wrong. Like, physical beauty when women wear makeup. Not too much, but like, have a nice little body too. Slim, nice little curves and all that. Nice big booty and all that. Like, that's physical, right? But what if she has that? And intelligence, man. That, oh my God. Women. Y'all don't know how sexy y'all are, man. When your logic and you know how to engage in conversations no matter what the man like you're not judging a man based on what he looks like but you're judging him based off the conversation you have plus you have the exterior beauty to go with your intelligence do you know how beautiful that is man yo that makes a nigga fall in love bro see women just haven't gotten it yet this woman probably has i don't know but that shit right there is scary man because you think to yourself as a man, like, is this too good to be true? No way. She can't be thinking like this. She probably trying to finesse us. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you this right now, okay? Fellas, there are some lady red pillars. Women red pillar. <laughs> I never thought that a woman red pillar. A woman red pillar. Would be talking about logic. Think with logic. But you know what? They were out there. We just didn't really. You know what it is? We deal with too many women who are overly emotional. Now, we need emotions. Don't get me wrong. We need a woman to show us emotions and to have emotions like that. But we also need for, to have a woman that understands a man's situation. If you're looking for potential in the man that you choose, ladies... You've got to be patient with your man if he has a plan. If he says he's going to do something, support him. 
If you love him, support him. That's all we ask for, ladies, is your support. In the relationship is your support. That's all you have to do. It's not It's not hard. Women, all we ask for you to do is do what your natural habitat has taught you to do. To love, nurturing, and support. That's all we need. Just support. And have feminine energy nurturing. That's it. We don't need for you to have this false fabrication of I got to be masculine. I got to be hard. I got to be tough. There's no need for that, man. Let's go. Fuck having a nice shape. Fuck having a fat ass. Fuck dressing nice. Fuck because you think you got it together with the vanity. Ho, are you intelligent enough to help a nigga problem solve when some real shit go on? Ho, Facts. do you have money to help a bitch pay for some shit if some real shit occur in life? If a nigga need a lawyer or if a bitch got a bill or if something come up with a bitch kids That's and a facts. bitch falling short. That's real do you shit. actually have some money to help pay for some shit or do you just run your... You know what it is, man? This is a new generation that's also breaking out. We see the ignorance from women and how women can be. But we never talked about the intelligent women who are on the grind and in this. See, I never said women were dumb. I've always thought women were smart because they're very calculating and manipulating. That's how I know they're not stupid. They just play like they do. But this is how they game y'all fellas. And I think what it is with this female is. She's probably sick and tired and, 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 and pissed off with women acting like this. Because she's a representation of all women. Just like all women are a representation of her. Now. I hope that she stick to her guns and she doesn't change any type of way. If she gets media attention. Because this is what's going to happen. This is how people get viral. Well, shout out to her for speaking real shit. But there's so many dudes have been talking about this for years, man. But our voices don't get heard. It takes a beautiful woman, a pretty face out there to get the attention. Because this is what they'll look for. They will listen to a woman more. That's why I try to tell people. And this woman knows it. She's she probably tired. She's like women. Y'all got the power now. She sees what's going on. Women got the power. Y'all got the power. Y'all own America. Y'all y'all own this shit. I mean, there's no denying it. Women run this shit. So even if there was a women president right now, it really wouldn't fucking matter. A woman is running this shit regardless. Because this man, I'll tell you something, man. I said this before in my last videos that women are becoming the breadwinners, man. And it's not a good thing. And I see a lot of women are, you know, like her, they, they starting to get pissed off now because it's like, all right, we got what we needed. We achieve our goals. We got equal pay. We're on top of society now. Now, what we going to do with the power? Are we going to go out of control? Or we going to get it straight and set better examples? Or we're going to give our men back the power because we don't know how to fucking act. I bet you there's a lot of women right now that wish that most men were being restored in this country as being leaders instead of being pussified. But here's the thing. Men are around. We just want y'all to fuck up. So that way y'all can just be like, okay, let's let, let the men lead. Let them take charge. Let them control it. They've done it for many years. See, the wise men, ladies, the older men, the wise men, men that are in their 30s. I say the perfect time for women to start dating a man is if they want somebody with stability. They got to look for not only just the attractiveness of looks. I understand that. But you got to look for the attractiveness, women, with a man's mind. Because a man who's wise and whose wisdom is a man who's going to protect, who's going to guard. See, a lot of women make a lot of bad choices when it comes down to relationships. 
Because if they did, a lot of them would be married right now and not being single mothers. It's sad, but the statistic rate is crazy in my time of era. Now it's starting to look like it's being seized and controlled. Why? Because a lot of men are not really interacting with women anymore. And a lot of men don't know how to interact with women anymore. That's why dating is like, uh. But shout out to this chick, man. If you're watching this, hit me up. My name is Andrew 26101 Show. You can just call me Andrew Show. That's cool. You got a friend in me, man. Because I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one, like, interview with you. I, I love to just have a talk and, you know, find out where you come from, you know, what you represent, what, you know, how did you gain these values? Like, what, what, what was your inspiration? Like, what, you know, your favorite, who did you look up to? Because I know everybody has somebody that they look up to, you know what I'm saying? That's an influence in their lives. And I'm just very, I'm just very curious to know that, you know, with a woman that thinks very logical, such as herself, she's very logical. And I think it's very interesting that, you know, really um, intrigues me a lot. No mouth all the way to no bank, bitch. Are you loyal enough to ride through some real shit? And when you riding with a bitch through some real shit, do you understand the importance of privacy, bitch? Some of y'all run y'all mouth too much to the point where it don't matter how long you stuck around with a nigga through some shit. You told everybody about the shit, so you was just as much a part of the problem as you thought you was a part of the solution. Do you understand what the fuck I'm explaining? Some of y'all want to matter way more than what you actually do. And the people yeah, around y'all, for whatever reason, <laughs> won't tell you, bitch, right listen, you don't have enough money, you don't have enough intelligence, you don't mm. have much going on outside of your looks to matter in a nigga life as much as you want to you Facts. don't understand privacy you don't understand confidentiality you don't st understand what it means to be in a relationship with somebody and not run and tell your business every time something go on or tell the nigga business you're not at a point right now where you're relevant enough to sit at this motherfucking table yeah, a true. bitch need to put you out they room I'm sorry if you don't want to hear humble. this. I'm sorry if some of y'all in a situation where a nigga treating y'all like a nobody, you might just be a nobody in the relevance of that situation. You can be somebody to you, meaning go work on your self-esteem, ho, but when it comes to outside of looking good, bitch, you're not smart enough right now to help a nigga work through any of their real problems. You know, I, I noticed that, though, too, man. I noticed that with a lot of females, right? Is that a lot of them think that they look too good and enough in the presence to want to be around you. Like, I get that shit a lot. And I be thinking to myself, like, and they be looking at you all sideways, like, why are you looking at me? But you just like, what the fuck? Like, this girl say, bitch, you need to work on your self-esteem, how? <laughs> but I never really understand that with females, though. And like she said, and like she said, man. Can y'all really ride through some real shit? Can some of y'all females ever... Can y'all deal with the fact that if your man is going through some shit... You know what I'm saying? Would you be able to be that support system? Would you ride for him? See, a lot of y'all females won't do that shit. Because y'all y'all focus too much on yourselves. It's like me, 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 me. And if it ain't me, then it's fuck you. And fuck everybody. Like, that's a fucking selfish mentality to have, man. That's a fucked up mentality to yeah, have. If we all in it together, man, we should all be trying to help each other progress and try to get to where we need to be. You feel me? I mean, life is tough for everybody out here, man. It ain't easy, man. That's why, especially, I, 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 listen, there's a lot of people who just ain't humble, man. There's niggas and bitches who just ain't fucking humble, man. They just, they just ain't humble at all. People just not humble. And that's the problem, man. That's the problem with society. Nobody's humble with shit. And that's why everybody's like so rude and disrespectful to everybody, man. This is why I always felt like I was ahead of my time, man. I think I'm destined to be with one of these millennial chicks, man. <laughs> just saying. I'm, I know I'm just fucking around, but for real. With a mindset like this, man. Like, shout out to her, man. Because I'm in love with your mind. I love the way you think, though. You know. You know, you little hood. That's okay. That's okay, baby. That's okay. We go work with that. A little bit too hood out for me. But anyways, nah. Nah, all jokes aside. But shout out to you. If you're watching this show, man, definitely hit a brother up, man. I would love to have a conversation with you, man. I love your energy. 
um you seem very interesting somebody different way way different and i see why you went viral like there ain't, ain't no question about it this chick this chick is probably gonna go even higher man she keeps making these type of videos man that's inspiration man that's inspiration because like i make videos too to, to inspire people to help people to educate men and also make women know exactly what's going on educate women too because i don't bash women i just say hey women listen this is the shit y'all doing man this is fucked up y'all gotta get it together or y'all gotta like something's gotta give man because y'all being controlled and manipulated too much by these other bitches that's in the industry or other places that's trying to tell you how to live how to live your lives they're leaving they leading y'all astray and you think these Nicki Minaj's and these Cardi B's really give a fuck about black women, bro? Or about black women's issues? Hell no. They don't give a damn. All they know is like, hey, they making their money. You buying their music. Oh, this is for my, my black sisters out there. Man, they don't give a fuck, man. They about just getting their money and satisfying their needs, man. Like anybody else in the industry. We just got to wake up, people. Am I lying? You don't have enough money right now bitch for you to be relevant in a bitch life some of y'all y'all love to date these niggas that got real shit going on in the streets when some real shit happened you're not smart enough to help a bitch get out of nothing get into something new you don't have enough money to help a bitch pay for an attorney or no court fees or to get off of probation or to buy into a business or pay for their lifestyle to change bitch you're not loyal enough to ride without complaining or telling the bitch business so guess what you are not relevant enough you are not valuable enough right now in the other person's life to matter as much as you want go work on yourself ho Go fix your understanding of what privacy is. Go get an understanding of what confidentiality means. Understand wow. that when you're trying to be loyal to a situation or loyal to someone, you can't be in a situation where, yeah, I'm helping you, but I'm going to talk about everything I do the whole time I do it to make yeah. the pressure even harder than what life already got on you. Understand that, bitch, I you fell into that category. and you helping them use up their funds on a certain lifestyle, and when shit get real, you don't got enough money to help cover what we, what we done created. Bitch, you should have been at the table from the beginning with the nigga should have had a different bitch that can keep up what the fuck's going on and then some of y'all oh, you're yo just shit. not that right, bitch you might need to go back to college go back and get your ged mm. or just sit down and read bitch to get yourself <laughs> to a place where you understand problem solving now y'all tracking with me right now, if boy. i stepped on your toes i don't give a fuck and it's vice versa same goal <laughs> yo i'm telling you this right now man I'm in love with this chick, bro. <laughs> I don't tweak it right now, man. But, yo, listen. I'm in love with this chick, man. And, you know, I never usually spread. I don't spread that type of shit. Okay? <clears throat> and I don't use the word love, man. But, God damn it. I love your mind. All right. In all serious note, though, man. Like, I respect you. I respect you. It's... It's just very refreshing to hear a woman that is very articulate and has a logical mindset and talks about stuff like this. I understand shit. Like, listen, if you have a female fellas that got this mindset, those are the ones that's going to be your lawyers, your doctors, your attorneys and shit. <laughs> this, this is the type of bitch that honestly, I don't mean to call you bitch. Well, I'm sorry. I apologize. But this is the type of, you know what I'm saying, you know, some hood shit, like, we cool, bitch, you know, you, I'm your nigga, you my bitch. But anyways, it's the type of bitch, right, that she will hold you the fuck down. She'll hold you down. She'll hold you down, and she probably might give you some good-ass sex, too, on top of it. She just, she just the type that just want a nigga just to be there, you know what I'm saying? Just to be, just want to be, want to have a man around. You know what I'm saying? Some women just love that. Some women, that's why they love certain type of men that are height and tall. You know, it kind of makes them masculine. You know what I mean? But anyway, shout out to you, sweet, sweetheart. If you're watching this, man, I know I'm a little bit of a jokester here, you know, but I'll, I'll get real serious, you know, if you want me to. But we could just really talk about these topics, man. Because on, on an honest perspective, I love what you got to say, man. And it's very refreshing hearing a woman that's speaking uh red pill you know I mean, just understanding the formalities of life and how it is like you know something's got to give women are not acting feminine 
Women are not bringing that feminine energy. That feminine energy is dying, ladies. That's why you don't see too many men fucking with y'all like that no more. You know, it's only going to get worse. Y'all go see. It's just, hey, it's, everything's all vain. It's all about money now. And you start to see that there's no love in what you're doing. Then when you start to sit back and you're like, okay, well, I'm getting all these money from these dudes. But it's like, damn, is that all they want? Is this money from me? Then you go realize, like, do they really care about me? Oh, not money from you, but all, is all they want to do is just give me money, I should say. And let me rephrase that, like, backwards. Like, is that all they want to do is just give me money? Give me money? I could trap them into just giving me money. Won't they give me, like, a, like something that's worth something beyond money? Like, I'm going to be there for you. So, now men are just not there for you. They're just paying for your service. So, you start to think to yourself, well, am I just this girl? That niggas just go run through and I'm going to get his cash. Or am I going to be that woman that's going to support him and stand by his side. And he's going to protect me and support me. And if we have kids, he's going to be he's gonna be that dude, that man that's going to be around. And, you know, be around for your daughter. And, like, be her father and make you know, your, your, your daughter laugh or your son laugh. You know what I'm saying? And who could tell you some interesting stories too, you know what I mean? Make you laugh, make the kids laugh. I mean, that's what fatherhood is all about, man. You know what I mean? I see it with my father. You know? Someday I hope to have that. Also, some of you niggas, you're not relevant enough, nigga, to matter in a bitch life as much as you want to matter. Some of you niggas, if it wasn't for the bitch being able to put everything in her name, we wouldn't have anything if a bitch had to ride your coattail all day long or if you had to actually be the front runner in this situation. Some of you niggas don't understand confidentiality or privacy. You run and tell another hoe everything about what you and your lady got going on. Yeah, nigga, you are a liability. I ain't gonna you lie. Not an asset. I you feel victim to that. As much as you think <laughs> you do. If it wasn't for the feelings or a hoe being kind of slow when it comes to some good dick you would not even be relevant to that woman do y'all understand what the fuck i'm telling y'all looking good having nice shit that shit means nothing when life get real do you got some people around you that when shit get real can they be loyal can they keep their mouth closed can they come up with a check if it's needed for some shit yeah do y'all understand what the fuck I'm explaining? Some of y'all don't got it. Uh, You're not relevant enough right now. You need to go work on self and get yourself right. Y'all want to be. I ain't gonna lie. There's some shit I fucked no up in. I had to get myself. You want to be right. relevant in a part of. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie, man. Because she was just talking about some parts of me, right? So I could solely admit it. You know, ladies, I know who y'all probably watching too, and some dudes is on here too. But listen, I'm just gonna keep it real. Like right? I'm just gonna keep it real, gangster. I fucked up. I'm not perfect. I was a shitty ass boyfriend. I didn't know how to treat a woman right. Because I was always angry all the time. I just didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I didn't care. I saw other women. I cheated before. Did I feel good about it? No. Did I give a fuck? Yeah and no. Was I insecure? Hell yeah. That's why I did the shit I did because I was fucked up emotionally. And I didn't know how to love. I didn't know how to carry on a relationship. I didn't know how to love a woman. I didn't. Because I just I was fucked up by them. You know what I'm saying? Then I transitioned. And then I and then I got to get wiser. You know, I don't blame women for everything that they do. You know, there's certain things that we do as men, we fuck up too. Cause the reason why a lot of these females are acting like pimps now, pimping out niggas, tricking niggas, getting money and all that, is because we did the trick game. See, women used to be loyal at one time, like really in the 90s, like we could go back in the 90s, 80s. Not saying they always, not saying that all of them was loyal. You know what I'm saying? They were, they were some fucking cheating bitches, but I'm saying like, yeah, there was some cheating bitches in the 90s. But I'm talking about like, it wasn't as as a pandemic like it was now you know what i'm saying like it was you you had a lot of good good women that would would that honestly wouldn't even want that wouldn't even look at another nigga once she got a man she was good that's all she wanted that's all she wanted but then dudes we took advantage of it we had that power before like the women have right now we had that power in the 90s we had that power in the 90s and probably in the 80s, but we fucked it up. Women were at home and shit. 
while men were working all the time, but then they controlled everything because they had the money. So guess what? Money is power, right? That's what it is. Why you think these women are doing all this da 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 for money? Every time they taking their money from you fellas, they taking a piece of your power. Why you think I want money so much, man? Why you think I want to be financially empowered? Not only because I want to retire early by investing, because that's my biggest formality is investing, because I want to retire early. I do. I don't want to work for people that much any, long, any longer, man. I'm in my late 30s, man. And I'm looking at it like this, man. Time is going to go by so fast, man. It's just, it's just going. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. Do you understand right now, man? We about to be in 2021 already. And what a crazy, disastrous pit stop of a year we had. Man, it makes you really think to yourself, like, just how the time just went by so fast. Well, all I have to say in this final note, I'm going to let her keep talking, man. Because I know y'all probably tired of me talking and shit. But that's all right, though. I'm going to say this, man. Ladies, you got to be grateful and humble for what you got in front of you. Stop thinking about what you need over ahead of you before you even were able to lay your eggs and make them hatch. If you catch my drift, fellas, we got to stop trying to impress other people. So that way we can feel good about ourselves. Because we nothing more than the women. We got to stop that shit. Buying nice fancy cars and jewelry and doing some dumb shit. And investing into stuff that really don't even matter. We got to stop doing that shit. You know, there's still some dudes out there that just, eh, They haven't got it together and you got some that have. You know. Like dudes around my age, man, we changing right now. I guess the ones we getting, we getting older now. So it's like the way we thinking is like, man, we wanna, we wanna invest because life after this shit, we don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know if we gonna have another COVID. We don't even know if we gonna have some other national disaster, some crazy shit to where we need money. Who knows, man? Nobody knows what's gonna happen. That's the scariest part. Relevant enough right now. You need to go work on self and get yourself right. Y'all want to be at the table making money decisions but got no money. You want to be relevant in a part of people's secrets and confidential conversations. But bitch, you can't hold water, bitch. You can't even hold your motherfucking drawers up on your ass because you're fucking everybody. But you want a bitch to tell you everything. Ha! You're not relevant <laughs> enough. Some tables ain't meant for some of you bitches to be sitting at. I'm just going to say it because the people around y'all ain't saying that shit. Girl, that nigga ain't answering the phone because you ain't relevant enough. Chances are you probably don't have enough to be sitting at a table and a lot of these niggas sitting there and it goes vice versa same for some of you niggas y'all yeah. want to be relevant in a bitch lifestyle and they life and shit but all you do is lay up in a bitch household and don't bring much to the table if these bills around here got real and something happened to me nigga you would not be able to cover them you can't put nothing in your name Damn. you can't carry us nowhere you don't got enough intellect to start no business or take us somewhere <laughs> outside of the plan we repeat the oh same man she reading my life a little bit enough. i'm feeling kind of some type of way she don't give a here. fuck but she's speaking facts though Some facts the people around you gotta dog, respect your man tell you your daddy wasn't around long enough to teach you bitch but i will teach you today some of y'all hey man hey man she said a lot of she said a lot of her sentences man that it was kind of hard to like really kind of grab the graphs and shit but it it, it man she said some shit about that kind of remind me of me when I was younger. That shit, I ain't gonna lie. That kind of rubbed me, too, man. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, I couldn't even get mad at the chick. I want to get mad at her, but I was like, oh, shit. Damn, she tells the fucking truth. Shit. Because, <laughs> listen, I had them tendencies, man. I was a shitty-ass boyfriend. I was. Could I have done better? Yeah, I could have. Did I know how to do better? I'm Probably not. Because, you know, I was... Kind of to focus on my personal needs too. So I could have worked on that. Did I break in some hearts? Yeah, I did. But I had a lot of hearts broken on me, man. On some real shit. But one thing I could understand what she's saying, man, is like everything she's saying is what well, we, we all got fucked up problems, man. 
everything she's saying is but we 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 got as men and women man that shit is crazy but you know we gotta just work every one of us got self issues like you gotta understand like human life is all about working on our weaknesses man and our issues man are we able to work up on our weaknesses man this is what life is all about. Working on our weaknesses, man. It's a challenge. And you got to be mentally strong in order for you to win this life battle. Life is all about playing chess, man. Everything you do is just playing chess is a strategy. What you do with money, when you get your first paycheck, what you going to do with that money? Are you going to pay off majority of your bills with it? Or you go pay a little bit off or you go use some of that and kind of like spend a little bit splurge. Yeah, have a good time. Go get that alcohol bottle. Yeah, let's go out. Let's go to the club. Let's go get some bitches. Let's throw some money. Yeah. Throw all that money that we worked and we grind 40, 50 hours of our lifespan for. And let's get all that money and throw it away to people. Yeah. Come on, man. We got to be smart as black people, man. Going to the strip clubs. Come on, man. This shit is crazy, man. This Our whole thing, you matter because you look as good as the next bitch. I'm going to tell some of you bitches, you don't got it going on like you think you do. Y'all can get all the motherfucking surgeries y'all want. Bitch, you can get all the wigs put on you want. You can get your teeth fixed, bitch. You can do all the flossing you want online. Some of y'all in the relationships <laughs> when it comes to y'all family, y'all partners, y'all friends, you are not relevant enough. You don't got enough bread to come to the table and make no money decisions. You're not smart enough to help problem solve. You too emotional, bitch. Uh. Every time life get real, you in your feelings. Sometimes when people going through pressure, you're going to see added stress and extra attitudes from them. Y'all come around and have attitudes like the shit going on with y'all. You don't even know how to be a real support system to a Facts. motherfucker. Then some call of y'all, you think you she support need to watch, them because you need right to watch this shit. with them when they going through the trenches but telling all their business. How? You're <laughs> making it more of a problem. More people know what's going on with me and everything I got in my life that I'm trying to fix because you running your motherfucking mouth. But you feel like you supposed to get in the war because you was with me. Oh, I was there when you was shooting in the gym. But bitch, did you help pay for any of the balls I had to go buy to take shots Facts. in the gym? Oh, did you help me clean up this motherfucker? Did you help put down the wood flows Ooh. in the gym to be able to even Facts. walk in this bitch? No, you were there, but you watched. Watch, bitch. A lot bitch. of y'all got a motherfucking bunch of lookers on y'all. Oh, she got me hyped they right ain't now. Don't do bitch. a fuck thing. You made me watch, a bitch. A fuck thing. You Niggas watch, and bitch. bitches. This ain't no one-sided motherfucking live. I don't get on the internet and just bash niggas, and I don't get on here and just bash bitches. Some Facts. of y'all don't understand. You're not relevant enough right now to be sitting at the table you're trying to sit at. Facts. Y'all always want a rich nigga, but ho, you don't got no money. Facts. You got no money. So Facts. This nigga went through something. What can you actually do besides run your? See, this is the shit I'm talking about, man. This is the shit, man. I gotta get this girl on my show, man. Come on, man. Somebody get this info from this chick. Because I got to get her on my show, man. Listen, if you watching this out here on some real shit, hit a nigga up for real. We got to do a show. Because I would love to have your ass on this show. You are keeping it a uh, buck a hundred. A hundred and ninety. Now, fuck that. Two hundred with this shit. This shit is on some two hundred shit. This shit right here, nigga. Two hundred. Two hundred percent. But one thing I can't stand, man, I can't stand broke ass bitches. Now she got me want to get on my nigga set. I can't stand broke bitches. All my life I dated pretty bitches that were broke as shit. I never looked at women's pocket rolls, but now I'm just like, damn. I was talking to my nigga the other day and I said, you know what? We always be going for certain type of women, right? He'd be like, yeah. Wow, what's up? <clears throat> you know, you ever thought about getting with a bitch who got that bag who got money he was like yeah i get with bitches i got money i said yeah my nigga but they but you always gotta still give them money i'm talking about getting with a bitch who got money that could take care of your ass and he was like oh shit because think about it them bitches don't them bitches that got money don't want a nigga for another for more money really well it depends <laughs> right I mean, if she know you making less money than her, and she still want to fuck with you, obviously she want more than just money. 
she looking for something else, yo. So you gotta check into that. But hey, whatever. Ride for that shit. Yeah, I, I used to have them thoughts in my head, man. But at the same time, who am I then? Cause then I'm just playing the broke ass nigga that's trying to get with a chick who got money. You know what I'm saying? You see how the reverse? See, this shit could reverse in so many different ways, man. But it's like we all got a lot we got to work up on, man. You got to have balance. I think life is all about just having balance. You know what I mean? You got to have just balance in everything that you do. And shout out to Shorty, though. Hit me up, though, if you got this, man. I want to definitely do a show with you. I think this shit will be fucking super lit. Your motherfucking mouth or lift your legs up and a bitch could get pussy anywhere. Now they making fucking fake pussies. The fuck? So what y'all got? <laughs> And a motherfucking wig. She said fake pussies they make it. <laughs> Shout out to you though. The fuck? The fuck, man. Y'all niggas too, you be in a bitch face all the time. If shit get real, what can you actually do? Nigga, you barely can read. You can't help a bitch with their kids, but you want to be relevant in a bitch life so much. That's some hood ass niggas though. When shit get real, a lot of y'all can't even stand in the paint with people. Y'all be want to be up around people. For what? For what? Some of y'all, you can't even get the basic concept down of shut your motherfucking mouth. <laughs> People are allowed to have problems and go through things in their life without y'all fucking putting on front street everything they got going on every time a bitch mention their name. Facts. Half the time, y'all business be getting told by the motherfuckers that's so relevant to y'all. But when some real shit go on, that bitch ain't got no money to help you, bro. Uh -huh. Oh, that nigga ain't got no money to help you with them jits. Yeah, that's true. Nothing. And fuck the money. Some of y'all ain't even smart enough to help a bitch. Uh. Life requires problem solving. It requires the management of emotions. And it requires a person to deal in solutions and forward progress. Because life goes on no matter what. A lot of y'all with some motherfuckers. She got it absolutely right. She got it absolutely right with forward progress. But what I think what she's talking, what she means to say is. Uh, uh, shit, I just had the word too. Damn, I forgot what it is. But it's part of forward progress. It's uh, logical. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got you got the women that deal with emotions, but you also need the logic. You need the logic. Where does the logic come from, men? And the way she's talking and the, the way she's going about shit, she can speak from a woman's perspective and a man's perspective of the both the things that they both need to do to change themselves into becoming men and women who can connect in the, on different types of levels with each other. So I absolutely get it. This woman actually got it down to a T. And let me tell you something, man. A person with her mindset, yo, she is a smart motherfucker, bro. I'm telling you. She's smart as hell. This woman is really smart. I mean, minus the whole cussing and shit. Like, I curse too. But I speak some real shit. But shout out to her. Very inspirational. Of emotions, and it requires a person to deal in solutions and forward progress. Because life goes on no matter what. A lot of y'all with some motherfuckers, they didn't cause the problem. They ain't necessarily broke. So they got a little money they can contribute. But the amount of stress they bring with their emotions and their attitude and their motherfucking hypothetical situations, y'all just aggravate.